Hello everyone, today we're going to review the Asus Republic of Gamers Rapture Wi-Fi 6E router. Now this is, as you can see, the GTAXE 11000 model, tri-band, and it looks like a mean-ass spiky spider that fed on its back. Uh, what does it say here? So it's got 1.8 GHz quad-core, CPU, it's got game acceleration, and AI mesh and AI protection and two and a half gigabits gaming ports and tri band this and all that jazz. Um, so it's got 2.4 gigahertz, 5 gigahertz, and 6 gigahertz. So that's the difference here. That's for the Wi Fi 6. And of course, you've got your Aura RGB gaming colors, so you can change that. Uh, and uh, yeah, looks like a typical Asus kit. Good quality stuff, massive box, heavy, and I bet it's all empty inside. Let's see. There you go, there's some information for you if you want to read that. Um, I see some sort of like little Ferrari or something versus a smart car. I uh, don't know what that is, but yeah, loads of info. <coughs> don't know about you guys, but I don't read this stuff. Let's unbox this bad boy. Oh, I did forget to say. It's so heavy. There's that information there if you wanted to see it. But um, yeah, just looks cool. And with loads of specs there and stuff. And uh, yeah, let's see what's inside. Yeah, what about a big scratch on the box? Ta da! App setup instructions. Um, drivers, update to your latest drivers. Yep, thanks for telling us that. Oh my god, see? Okay, it is a heavy piece of kit and it is really big. That is a really big box. Um, tells you how to, well, not break the antennas. So there you go, you've got your WPS button, you've got your Wi Fi and your boost. Three separate buttons there. Probably a gamer's title, your little indicators. And of course, this will be the bit that lights up in colour. And then, what have we got there? You've got power button, power and reset. Um, now, what we're missing is, there they are. There's the ports, etc. So let's, uh, let's turn this thing on and uh, see how it goes. Okay, here we have the Wi-Fi router plugged in. The default light lit up. It's blue for me. And once you install the Asus router app on your phone and begin the installation process, it detects the Wi-Fi, select that, and then it begins the setup uh, process. The app takes you through the process of setting up the system one by one. It just tells you what it's doing. Um, I did get an error at first. For some reason, it didn't detect it, so I just pressed retry. And once I retried, uh, it then detected the router and shows the correct picture as well with the model. The next step is to install the Wi-Fi settings. Uh, as you can see, it asks uh, to split the channels by default. I've uh, merged them, however, the 6 GHz channel has to be separate and cannot be the same name. So I've just put a 6G extension, as you can see. Uh, and then once you've uh, inserted the correct details, it then continues setting up the network. Um, it will then tell you to connect to the new Wi-Fi system and come back to the app. And once you've done that, it will uh, optimize the network to its best ability. I'll now show you the different screens in the app. Uh, this one is the welcome screen. As you can see, it's very mean and monstrous, uh, alienish even, sci-fi, futuristic, whatever you want to call it. Just goes to show how badass this kit is. Uh, the next screenshot is uh, me sliding the page left and right in the center, so you can see different uh, sorts of monitors of the status of the uh, hardware um, there's so many buttons to press on this screen it's just scary but uh, let's just flick through random ones this first page shows you the insights page uh, it's just got some various settings family members profiles user details etc this is the settings page uh, as you can see all the different headings let's you configure things appropriately this was a fun page, uh, the Aura RGB lights, you can choose your colour system here, I chose rainbow and it just flicks through the colours. 
Um, one of these pages, if you tap the little uh, speed arrow bar, it just kind of tells you what settings you can choose, maybe to prioritize gaming or if it's family home use, etc. You can activate the uh, gaming priority mode, so it will prioritize devices you put in this category, give it the best signal possible. As you can see when I turned it down, uh, it's just given me some low numbers and says it's uh, activated. Not really sure about that, but hey ho. And of course the ultimate test at the end, which was a speed test. This is right next to the router. I have a 340 meg connection, and I've got 342, and then I went as far away from the house as I can. Downstairs, kitchen, far corner, and I've got 323. Upload wasn't affected much, but it clearly shows that the uh, antennas were of good strength. And to be honest, it's just showing me that I don't need a whole home mesh Wi-Fi system. So I hope you've uh, enjoyed watching this uh, video. It's uh, of some use to you if you wanted to see if this was the right router for you. Um, it, it definitely has a lot more options than others I've seen on the market lately. And it's uh, it was very reliable in terms of speed, low pings, etc. No packet loss. Um, and uh, it even shows that I don't need a whole home Wi-Fi mesh system, which you can spend a couple hundred separately for anyway. So is this worth £500? If you remove the fact that you, you won't need a mesh system, then quite possibly yes. Um, so I would definitely recommend this product to anyone who thinks they need a, a good Wi-Fi router without a mesh system.